Hello, my name is Reader Ward, and today I'm going to be teaching you about variable types in C Sharp. So, open up a console based application in Microsoft Visual Studio for me, real quick, if you didn't watch my last video. So, if you open up the main method where it says static void main string args inside that function, the code inside that function is what is going to be run every time you hit compile and run on any sort of application you write. So we're going to type inside that main function a couple of different variable types as I teach you about each type. So what is a data type? A data type defines the information that can be stored in a variable, the size of needed memory, and the operations that can be performed with a variable. For example, to store an integer value in a variable, you use the int keyword. So the int keyword, and then plus the name of the variable. So you can make up any name for it. So I'm going to call it my age. And notice that um, at the beginning of each new word in the variable name, I put a capital letter that's called camel case, which is standard protocol in pr the programming world today. So say you had a really long variable name like int my name is reader ward. The beginning of each new word has a capital letter. And so camel casing is just important to know because that's what most people use. So I'm going to go back to int my age put a semicolon. A line of code that completes an action is called a statement, and each statement in C-sharp has to end with a semicolon. So that's why I put a semicolon at the end. And that declares that inside my program, in my program called my test application, there is an integer variable that is called my age. So, I can assign the value of a variable when I declare it. So I can go back and instead of saying just int my age, I can take away the semicolon and say equals 18 semicolon. So now inside my program, there exists a variable of type of data type integer. And the name of the variable is my age and its value is 18. So that's what all that means in that one line of code. And the third thing I can do is I can declare the variable, say that it exists in my code, and then later on I can make a call to my age and you see it pops up. Um, so I can just hit enter and it'll auto-complete that line for me, line of code just saying the variable name. So now my program recognizes that this is a local variable. So I can say my age equals 18. Just remember that you need to declare the variable before you use it. Like you can't write some code and then make a call to my age without ever declaring int my age because then software would not know what to make a call to because it wouldn't exist in the previous code. So C Sharp has built in data types that are already there. Of course, we've already gone over integer. Int my age equals 18. Just an integer is just a whole number. There's something called a float, which is all it is is a floating point number. And a variation of that variable type is something that is most commonly used, which is a double, which is a double precision version of float. So I can say double my average equals 0 0.1. Now, you might notice in the code that there are green, my age and my average, where they're declared, uh, it has a green underline. In Visual Studio, that just simply means that if you hover over it, it'll pop up and tell you also. This means that your variable is assigned, but it's never used in the code. So it's basically yelling at you for, for having useless lines of code because you don't want to ever have code that you don't use. But we are going to use it later on in this program. So another type is char, which stands for character. 
which just means a single character. So I can have char uh, my initial, my first initial, I guess I should say, because it's only one character. And I'm going to say that that equals and use a single, um, and you use single quotation marks for a character. So I'm going to say my first initial is R for reader. And then there's another kind, which is called string, which is this, it's called string because it's essentially a string of characters all put together. So I'm going to call this my name. And you have to use double quotation marks for any string when you're declaring it. So string is just a sequence of characters. Now that we've learned about all these different variable types and data types, I should say, now let's do something with them. So I'm going to say int my age equals 18 and int my age, uh, let's say times 10 equals my age multiplied. When you multiply by something in C sharp, you use the star times 10. So something important, when you declare another integer, my age times 10, if you put, if you had put 10.0, which makes it a double, that would give you an error. So let me do that for you real quick. So 10.0. Boom, there's an error. You cannot implicitly convert type double to int because an explicit conversion exists. Because it needs to be the entire value. You see, I made a compound statement, which when that statement is executed, it's gonna take my age, multiply it by 10, and then declare my age times 10 equals whatever value that is, which is 180. Do not forget to keep your data type straight or else it'll start throwing errors at you. So let's do something more complex. Let's do int my age, my int my age times 10. Now let's do if I'm going to introduce the if statement. You do if parentheses and then if whatever inside the parentheses is true then the code inside the if statement will execute. So let me explain, or let me show you. If my age is smaller than my age times 10, and then you put a bracket, and it'll autocomplete the second bracket for you, and you hit enter. So whatever inside those brackets, whatever code is inside there will execute if the if statement is true. So if my age is smaller than my age times 10, then my age equals my age minus one. So then subtract one from my age if the if statement is true. And the last thing is I'm going to be teaching you everything in con as a console based program, which basically means you're interacting with a console inside of an integrated development environment like Visual Studio. In C Sharp, the way to access a console and to print words and just whatever you want inside the console, you do console dot right line or dot right. The only difference is if you put right line, it'll, after you put each console dot right line statement, it'll go to the next line for you. So essentially do a carriage return and a line feed. Console dot right line, then I'm going to put a string saying uh, my age is less than my age times 10 and then put a semicolon at the end of the statement put that inside the if statement and so if my age is less than my age times 10 then it will change the value of my age and 
it will print my age is less than my age times 10. We also want to see the evidence of my age, the value of my age changing. Then I can put another console.write line statement saying, and if you just put a variable name without quotation marks, it'll print out the value of that variable. Let's put my age. It should print out my age is less than my age times 10, and then under that it should print out 18 minus 1, which is 17. So I'm going to go up. So I'm going to click Save All up here at this blue document button. Save All. And then hit Start. And the console will come up. And it says my age is less than my age times 10. And it puts 18 minus 1, which is 17. So that is C Sharp tutorial number two, learning about basic if statements and data types. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.